The Isuzu Ute A-League Final Series is here. Throughout May, watch the best in the league go all in to reach the Grand Final. Experience it live. Search A-League's tickets. Decent ball in Bridge! Goal for the Wanderers! Mark Bridge against his old club! Nekovic again to beyond Yanko. Again, it holds off, but Ogdenovsky towards goal! And it dribbles over the line! And Sydney are back at 2-2! Well, Sydney, a city divided this evening. The geographic split of Australia's biggest metropolis colour-coded in the stands. On one side, the blue tones of the cloudless skies that entice tourists to the city of the picture postcards. On the other, red and black merging seamlessly together in homage to the gritty blend of the sprawling West. Football is their religion, and tonight, 40,000 true believers assemble at their shrine. Tonight, in Sydney, heaven is a place on turf. And that this fixture has quickly established itself as the marquee club match of any code in this city. Throw into the mix a few pre-match barbs, a race row that lingered long after the last derby here, two coaches who refer to each other as brothers, and you have the sort of family feud that wouldn't look out of place on Jerry Springer, hopefully without the need for Burley security. Let's have a look at the two team lineups. Three changes for Sydney FC. Alex Gersbach gets his first A-League start in place of Matt German at left back. The youngster is currently sitting his HSC exams. Bernie Abini is rushed back in from Socceroos duty. And Mark Janko's red card for Austria last week is an unintended bonus for Graham Arnold, who gives his marquee striker his first taste of the derby right from the off. Nick Carl and George Blackwood also drop out. Now, three changes for the Wanderers as well. Nikolai Topol Stanley is back to bolster defence that looked rather shaky without him last week. Anthony Golick thus shifts across to left fullback with Shannon Cole, the man to miss out. Romeo Castellan gets his full debut in place of Corbina Appier on the right. And the Brazilian Vitor Saba is included in place of Labinot Haliti. Brendan Santalab makes his 50th A League appearance. And a quick look at the bench. Ali Abbas back as a sub for Sydney FC after his first international call up for Iraq in seven years. There's Graham Arnold. Had a decent record in derbies with the Mariners, losing just two of the 10 F3 encounters with the Jets. This is his first taste of it, of course, with Sydney FC. It's also his 100th A-League game as a head coach. Tony Popovich, the longest serving coach in the competition. Incredible success he's had with the Wanderers tonight. They do, though, face the prospect of losing three A-League games on the spin for the first time under his leadership. So a night for strong bodies, but cool heads. And away we go, just the seventh version of this Sydney derby, a fixture not yet two years old. But the feeling in this game, Robbie Slater, has been there right from the off. Well, it's unbelievable. You say it's the seventh derby. It feels like the 70th. Such is the passion and fervour of these fans, and it's been going on all afternoon. Arriving here at the stadium, the buzz has been quite extraordinary. Atmosphere is just electric. Huge queues outside to get in. Let's hope the match delivers. Corey Gamero has stood almost on the goal line. He'll rush back as soon as Petkovic delivers. To the back post it goes. Janko met it. And it's over the top by Abini. Well, you see the danger there of both Janko and Sasha Ognanovsky. Better delivery from Petkovic to the back post. Janko gets in. Abini, it just won't come down for him. Dropped off Alex Brosk, who got a free header. Gamero works it out towards Avini. Avini to run a pace. Can he find a delivery or even shoot for goal? Not a bad try from Bernie Avini. Yeah, just made half a yard, didn't he? And it's taken a deflection, or did Kovic get a touch? Terrific work from Corey Gamero. Two players on him, Hamill spins away, gets it to Bernie Avini, isolates himself on Golic, goes down the outside, drops the shoulder. Oh, and it was dipping wickedly as well. All been thrown forward for this free kick. Sabas ball towards Mullen, and Yetovic read it. And that's good, good goalkeeping. He knew he couldn't catch it, so he's just helped it on, away from the danger area. 
ball to the back post and set two players unmarked at the back post. Holding, bit of niggle between Petkovic and LaRocca. Deep it goes from Savar and Kaslan was winding up that right boot, just waiting for it to drop. Here is the Dutchman, looking to get beyond Gersbach and does so. Decent ball in, Bridge! Goal for the Wanderers! Mark Bridge against his old club at the end of the ground where he once won a grand final for the Newcastle Jets. Advantage Western Sydney. What a terrific finish from Mark Bridge. And Castellan for once, he gets the ball in a good position for a winger, just what he wants. Drops his shoulder, skips around Alex Gersbach. The cut back, he doesn't go for the near post, watch, he drops his shoulder, flicks it past. Just a little bit too much pace off the mark. A lot of blue shirts there. Mark Bridge really doesn't make a run. He just stands his ground. They don't pick him up, and that's a clinical finish. He made it look easy. Janjanovic at full stretch, it's nearly past him. Ogdenovsky with the free kick. Gamero couldn't control it. Oh, and it was Alex Bross sneaking in on the blind side, and he's looking quizzically at the referee, hoping for a penalty, which is not forthcoming from Chris Griffiths-Jones. Well, he got around the back of Daniel Mullen. Just a long ball from Sasha Ogdenovsky. Nikolai Topper stanley misjudged it. I don't think there's a penalty there. Sabral went flying in. He collected La Roca, and he's going to pick up the first yellow card of the derby. Last season, we had 118 fouls in the three meetings between these two local rivals. It's the sort of occasion it is as Sabar tries to glide it into the path of Mark Bridge. That looked like it gone out for a corner. And that's been given. Clever ball there from Sabar, just trying to pick out Bridge. Ball has come in and it uh, makes its way towards Topo Stanley. That's an awkward one for Jan Jetsovic. Oh, he's punched it into his own net. Disaster for Sydney FC. Wanderers lead by two. A catastrophe for the Sky Blues. Oh, what an occasion to make such a mistake. Having just conceded, the last thing they needed was for an individual error. They got caught a little bit on the hop, didn't they? Top of Stanley there at Sasha Ognanovsky with a real, well, we've seen a lot of up and unders at this ground. And Jan Yedovic just misjudges the flight of it. Slight touch from Nikolai Top of Stanley, not enough. Jan Yedovic should be dealing with that. Even don't try and catch it, just flick it over the bar. It's come from a long way. And wow, the Wanderers take a 2 0 advantage. Dimitrovic can't get past Polyak and away races Romeo Castellan. Turns into traffic. No foul by Antonis. Despite the appeals from the away supporters. And this is Sebastian Ryle. Clip it towards the back stick. Camaro first time and there's a flag up. Oh, and he shouldn't be. He is literally looking across the line there, Corey Camaro. He drifts too early, or does he? He's onside. He's a mile onside. He's a mile onside. Dear me. The only saving grace, I guess, is Yanko was nowhere near it. Brosk couldn't make it stick. Good feet by Saba. Vitor Saba. Well, oh, he's real excitement when he gets going, Vitor Saba. Well, not the end product. Well off target. Jan Yedovic's dive makes it look a little bit better, but what about that for balance? Quick feet. Great balance, dropping the shoulder both sides. Pekovic into the channel, it's not a bad ball, and Kovic is off his line, backfield by Bros, Chancy, Gamero! Sydney FC back in the game! Corey Gamero with his second goal in two matches! Game on! Terrific finish from Corey Gamera. A little bit lucky how it came to him. Alex Brosk with the penetrating run. That's what we haven't seen enough from Sydney FC. Long ball out of defence. I'll be disappointed. Nikolai Topper Stanley was filthy. Comes in to actually give him credit. That's a terrific back heel.
for Corey Gamero. And when you talk about composure, he kept his composure. It's a slight deflection, actually. Was it off Yanko, the last touch? It doesn't matter. Sydney FC get the goal they wanted just before half-time. What a time to score. Well, they desperately the, needed it. Well, was the deflection of Topo Stanley or Yanko? It doesn't matter. The, I mean, credit Alex Brosk. I thought it was a, a challenge where the ball came back to Corey Gramero. I think it was a, a backheel from Brosk, but just what Sydney needed before half-time. Terrific second half. Yeah, in prospects, first half that's been full of drama and incidents. Wanderers perhaps just a little bit deflated, but they lead at the break. Mark Bridge and then an own goal from veteran Janjetovic gave the Wanderers a comfortable cushion, but Corey Gamero has given Sydney FC hope at the break of Allianz in the derby. It's Sydney FC 1, Western Sydney Wanderers 2. This seventh Sydney derby as we get the second half back underway is still finally poised, Robbie Slater. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting, the momentum of Sydney with that goal on the stroke of half-time. And they come out and ride that. They'll be right on the front foot. They're attacking the cove end. Camaro stretching, couldn't reach him. Brosk will. He's got two for company, and LaRocca has put in another decent shift in that uh, defensive midfield role alongside Matteo Poliak. Castellan has stolen possession away from Gamero. Was he blocked off by Gersbach? The referee says no. no. I thought he had a case there. It's Pekovic's delivery, met by Santalab. Set up again by Dimitrievic. And Tonis to swing it in towards Mark Janko, who nods it back into an area. Vini has a swing at it. And then Brosk, Western Sydney can't get it clear. Kovic makes a really important block. And Saba should make progress up to half, halfway. He's dispossessed by Ognanovsky. And Gamero's attempted cross is put behind by Hamill. Good pressure by Sydney FC. Well, intense pressure. Started from the corner. The ball back in from Antonis. Second phase. Yanko with the header back across. Bernie Abini with an air swing. They still couldn't clear it. Blocked again from Kovic from the snapshot from Brosk. Sydney FC have another corner. Pekovic again, it's beyond Janko. Again, it holds off, and Ognanovsky towards goal! And it dribbles over the line, and Sydney are back at 2-2! Big Sasha Ognanovsky claims it! Well, it rolls, it trickles into the back of the net. Abini didn't touch it. I'm not sure who that's come off last. But, well, Sydney FC had their problems in the first half from set pieces. It's Western Sydney Wanderers' turn to have their problems. A goal nearly from the last one. This one, they don't deal with it. Sasha Ognanovsky, I think that comes off Castellan. And I'm not sure if Bernie or Bernie, there's Castellan there, he comes off the line. Poliak with the first one, Hamill cut, just the swing of the leg. and Janjetovic getting in a bit of a tangle. Janjetovic has given the ball away. Oh, goodness oh. me, and the return shot from Mark Bridge oh, yeah. fades away. Oh, what was he thinking? That's a good switch of play. Castellan with Daniel Mullen outside, a little slip on the surface from the Dutchman. Still he goes on, flags up. Flags up. Won't count. The referee's going to come and have a talk to Sandler, but he's going to get away with no yellow card. First look at it, I thought he was offside. Terrific run, just went a little bit early. That's a terrific run from Saba. Started with brilliant feet, and we've seen Saba. He's got a bit of a free kick in him in the Champions League. Looks like it's going to be teed up. Saba, that's, that's a pretty uh, tame effort. Well, we're going to have to keep that one on record. This time they do go the more direct routes. It's a good delivery. Well met by Daniel Mullen. Another one. Is that Sasha Ognanovsky down? 
And they defended that one well. He said Manovsky was coming in at the back post. Doesn't look too clever, does he? Sasha Ognanovsky's got a bang on that left knee, which is clearly causing him discomfort. He will not want to leave the park. Can they go short, Sydney? Dimitrovic took a touch on the way in towards Yanko. And then Gavero with the volley. And he took a touch, another corner. What Sydney about... maintained the pressure. Petkovic finally delivers. That's a really cute ball from Dimitrovic to set up the Serbian defender again. Decent ball in. Oh, Gavero was lunging for it. Another what, corner. What about the pressure? That's terrific defending again. That's a wicked ball from Petkovic to the back post. A rare chance in the context of the second half of the Wanderers. Sabah's delivery. And Yetovic comes. Oh, he's not really made the best of contact on it. I was about to say it's not a good ball in, but given why Yetovic has been, it was a good ball in. Wanderers got a play down injured right in front of Yetovic. Play continues, and Yanko puts it out. And it's Brendan Hamill who's suffering from cramp. And Sasha Ogdenovsky is certainly Yetovic. Don't you go helping the opposition. He is so fired up for this game, Ogdenovsky. Look at that. Yanjetovic, he doesn't know what to say. He thought, I was just trying to do him a favour. Well, that's how much the derby means. Griffin Entertainment. Mullen's throw. David Sabah a bit quick, he did well to control it. Oh, and then he flies into a challenge on Antonis, and that is incensed the Sydney FC players. Straight red, Vitor Sabah is off, arms are raised in the direction of Ogdenovsky as well, and the derby has exploded as we thought it might. It's been threatening to boil over for some time, and Sabah just flew into Terry Antonis. And Chris Griffiths-Jones had no hesitation in issuing the straight red card. No, his hand went straight to the left-hand pocket. That's where the, the red card abides. Petkovic, trying to have a little pocket of space again for Gamero. Drop of the shoulder, here's Yanko. Good block from Brendan Hamill. Yeah, terrific block. Just didn't come across. He's trying to let that one come across his body, Yanko. And it just didn't quite come across quick enough for him. And Hamill closed down the angle brilliantly. Again, the outswinger. Oh, and it's met firmly. That's a really good save from Ante Kovic to deny Sebastian Ryle. Petkovic, pinpoint pass, cross fields. Ryle into the box. Bross header, just wide. Oh, Kovic rooted to the spot and it wasn't past that far post by much it is and ironically since the send-off they seem to have stemmed the flow of somewhat sometimes you get that when you go to 10 men that makes up your mind you know you have to sit in two banks of four goes back There's some space here for Gamero chance for Brosk story for the Sky Blues and Alex Brosk who has split his family right down the middle in their derby allegiances makes it 3-2 for the home team well I was just saying that sometimes they sit in and it helps them but wow that argument's gone and Corey Gamero with composure and quite a brilliant little pass and they catch Western Sydney underways goes back what about this for control what about this for a little pass and Poliak got caught ball watching, composed finish, cool finish from Bross. First touch, maybe took it a little bit too far, but he just got his toe to it, so he goes a little bit too far. In at the far post, and it was Poliak just got caught ball watching as Bross just slipped the other side of him, and that's just a lack of concentration from Matteo Poliak, but take nothing away from the assist of Corey Gamero and the finish of Alex Bross, the captain. They look likely now to take the derby on us. With just 20 seconds to go. And the 
full-time whistle has blown. I'm not sure the players know it yet. They do now. What a night at Allianz Stadium. Back-to-back -back derby wins for Sydney FC for the first time as the Wanderers suffer three straight losses in the A-League for the very first time. That's really only the bare bones of a remarkable story. A handshake between two old friends as Sydney FC moved joint top of the A-League ladder. But there were so many more talking points than just the bare facts of the goals. And Vitor Savar's red card had a big part to play in Sydney FC coming from two goals down to win this derby. A quite remarkable night in front of a record derby crowd. Thrilling stuff. The Sky Blues have won it though. Full-time scoreline, Sydney FC 3, Western Sydney Wanderers 2. The Isuzu Ute A-League final series is here. Throughout May, watch the best in the league go all in to reach the grand final. Experience it live. Search A-League's tickets.